Hey there, if you're anything like me, you don't like wasting your time with phone calls when you don't have to, especially if you're in the uh, service delivery business to where phone calls are something that really are, are your time should be set aside to be spent with your clients, not your sales prospects. And so for me, the ability to not have to deal with the phone ringing time after time after time, leaving a voicemail, then going to email anyway to set up another time for us to set up a phone call and set up a time for us to set up a time. It's just it's absolutely ridiculous. What you can do is you can get in front of a lot more people by posting on Facebook. We all know that. And you can get in front of a specific person by sending them a direct message. We all know that as well. But you might be sitting there thinking, okay, so how can I turn a direct message into a sales pitch? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today on this video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my friend here, uh, good old Adam Stark. I'm going to go to his page here. And you can do something what I call social reconnaissance. See, this is huge when it comes to selling. See, one of the best, uh, one of the biggest things that you can make and the best investments that you can make into as a salesperson is actually market research. You don't have to be the best person with the best word tracks and the best rebuttals and the best ways to overcome objections. What you have to do is you have to have, you have to do market research and you have to have intelligence, right? You have to have analyzed what's going on out there so that you know what you're doing. So what I've done here is I've created something called social reconnaissance and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and exactly what you can do to lead to a conversation. So you have to understand this, that most people, no, I'm sorry, not most people, all people associate themselves with three things who they are, what their name is, right? Uh, where they're from and what they do for a living. So if you can cover those three basis with somebody, they'll rebuttal those questions. You ask somebody, hi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Say, oh, and I'm Ryan Steumann. What's to meet you? They'll tell you their name. You say, oh, they, how's it work? They'll ask you the same thing. How's family life? They'll ask you the same thing. Where are you from? They'll tell you. Those are the three things that we give up informational wise, super easy. And so you're going to be able to go through Facebook, and if you have that big-time real estate agent that you've wanted to uh, reach out to and connect with and you're not sure what to say, if you have the uh, big-time referral partner that could send you a shit ton of business that you're, you haven't reached out to because you don't know what to say, I'm going to show you right now what to do. So right here, I'm just going to do a little social reconnaissance. And uh, Adam, he's obviously into uh, green stuff. That's right, because it's St. Patrick's uh, Day today. And let's see, I can see here that... Uh, someone, he got a listing over the weekend. So Adam's got a listing right there. That's something that is uh, obviously he's going to want to talk about. The whole car uh, thing right here. He's looking for uh, some kind of a new car, obviously. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually just going to go up to the top of his page and I'm going to hit message. And I'm going to say, excuse me. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just sending him a quick message. And what I've done is I've got on his wall here and I see that, you know, I could have talked to him about his listing, but I don't want to go straight into business. But obviously he's asking about the differences between these luxury cars here. So I'm going to reach out to him and say, hey, man, looks like you're looking for a new car. What are you thinking about buying? And that's just a simple that that shows me that I've got a common connection with him right there. There's a couple of things that are going on. See, thing number one is he's like, oh, wow. Ryan's watching me and it's not just the fact that Ryan or hardcore closure like anybody right oh wow somebody's watching me that's the exact reason why I put this stuff on social media in the first place right and the second thing is it's like oh he's actually taken the time to reach out to care about what my decision was as well right so then Adam's probably busy right now not going to reply which is cool too because I can leave a message and do reconnaissance like this on maybe 10 different pages within the hour and then you know only have to randomly respond to their message throughout the day as opposed to trying to hammer the phones over and over and over again and I'm going to be able to from here say hey man well how's business going saw you took a listing this weekend that was obviously on his wall right there as well and he's going to say business is good what about your business say man you know business is good but I could always use a referral anybody you know that's looking to get into the consulting business or real estate or mortgages, insurance, things like that, you need to send them my way because we've got some awesome lead gen strategies going on right now. And uh, by the way, man, if you ever need anything, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. So think of the power in that. Just a common conversation, casual conversation. It's not like I put any pressure on them or anything else, but what I've done is I've dropped my brand in front of somebody with that conversation. Probably picked the wrong person here to show you their wall, but then again, I, I don't know that anybody else wants you to see behind the scenes in their Facebook page right here. And uh, maybe I'll edit this out down the road and show you the conversation on the back end. The bottom line is go through, do your social reconnaissance, find the people that you want to talk to, 
look and see what they've been into and have the conversation with them that they want to have. And then on your way out, drop your brand on them. I'll catch you on the next one. It's Hardcore Closer out of here.